Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about a question that I've gotten a few times and that's how do I take a local user uh, that I've already got on a computer and how do I change that local user into a network user so that that person can access all of the network services and things that are available on Mountain Lion server. And so what I'm going to do today is walk you through the process of how to do that and just kind of show you the different steps and things on how to make that work. Uh, Apple does have a support article out uh, on that and I'm going to put the link for that on the screen just in case you'd like to follow it along also with uh, the way they lay it out. Uh, but I want to show you visually how this is done because sometimes this causes some confusion. So you can see right here on my server uh, I've got uh, different users. I've got John Doe who's a local network user and you can see right here I've got Sally Doe who is just a local user. Uh, she's not a network user so therefore she can't use any of the network services. And what I want to do is I want to have Sally be a network user and set her up so that she can access those network services. Now, depending on how you've got this set up, uh, currently Sally is already on my server because uh, I'm going to show it to you this way as opposed to having to do a screen share and all that. Sometimes Sally might not even be on your server and so you're going to have to figure out a way to move that over and I'll, I'll kind of walk you through the steps on how to make that work as well. Uh, but what we're going to do is the first thing we need to do is delete her local account. Uh, so that uh, she's no longer a local user. We want to keep her home folder and everything intact. And then what we're going to do is create a network account for her and then we want to attach that home folder and all of her settings and everything to this new network account. So let me just show you how that works and how to set that up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, actually go to uh, a finder window. Let me just show you real quick where these things are located. If you look in the finder uh, and you come into your server and you look on your uh, settings here, under your users folder, you'll see everybody's users folders and information right here. You can see I've got uh, you know, John Doe is right there, even though he's a network account and his user folder is there. There's Sally's user uh, folder, uh, as well as some of the other ones that I've got set up on the server. So this is where those are located. And so I'm going to show you, I just wanted to show you that so you know where things need to be moved to and where they need to be set up. So let me just pop this down for a minute. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is we need to remove Sally's account. So what I'm going to do is let's go to System Preferences. Let me pull that up. And you're going to want to go into your Users and Groups area. Okay, so Users and Groups on System Preferences. And you can see I've got all my different accounts that are actually on the server. These are my local accounts. Uh, for you, it may be a remote computer that you've got set up or you've got these set up somewhere else. So what I need to do first is I need to delete Sally. So you're going to need to click the lock and authenticate, which I've already done. And so I'm just going to remove, uh, remove her from the account here. Now, what it's going to ask me is whether I want to save the whole, uh, home folder in a disk image, whether I don't want to change the home folder, or whether I want to delete it. What I want to do is I want to say, I don't change the home folder. I want to leave it in the user's folder. I want to leave it alone and just keep the home folder stuff. So you don't want to do a disk image and you don't want to delete the home folder at all. So I'm just going to say delete user. And so now she's gone, right? The user's gone. She's no longer here. Uh, but we did keep her home folder. So let me, uh, let me just come back here to the finder and let's take a look at that again. When you come into users, you can see Sally's folder is here now, but it's got this little deleted area after it. So what I'm going to do is you need to, you need to rename the whole home folder for whatever the short name is of the network user you're creating. So I'm just going to create Sally uh, Doe again, and Sally D is still going to be her short name. So I just need to make sure that I rename this folder so that it doesn't say deleted on there or I won't be able to link her up to it. All right, so I just did that. Now I have to authenticate to make sure that's something I want to do. And now it's all set, so it's back to Sally D. Okay, it's an important step. It needs to be the same. So let me put this down. Now, the other thing you're going to need to do if you're using a remote computer, so right now I'm on the server, so it's not as important, but if you're using a remote computer, you're going to want to make sure in the login options that you are you are bound to your network account server, so that your actual computer is bound to the server. And so I've done tutorials that talk about how to bind to the server. You might want to take a look at that tutorial uh, to be able to walk through the steps to make that happen if you don't know how to make it work. But you want to make sure that you actually have the computer where the home folders are at, that you're going to move the user over is bound to the to the network client so that that way everything will come over okay and you don't have to worry about uh, missing any information or anything like that okay so that's a that's an important step that you need to have happen now next what you're gonna do let me just put this down since we're set the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to actually uh, move the home folder to the server 
Okay, so now there's a couple different ways you can do that. In my case, it's already on the server, as I showed you uh, over here in the users and groups area, that I'm actually already on the server, right? I've got it all set up right here, and so my information is there. You want to make sure that you move those home folders over to the users folder uh, on your server, okay, so that it's all in sync. Now, you can do that by just physically moving it over and copying it. Uh, you can also do it by uh, putting in a terminal command. I'm going to put that command up on the screen uh, as it is for uh, my moving Sally's folder around just so you have an idea of what that looks like. So you can choose whatever uh, works best for you to make that to move that over, but you're going to want to move that home folder over to your server. Now, the next thing we need to do is I need to create a network account for Sally. And you'll notice here now on my server that Sally has disappeared. She's not there anymore because I deleted her. So what I need to do now is come in and just add Sally account. So I'm going to put in Sally Doe in here. Make sure I get that right. We're going to make sure that her it says Sally D here because we want to match it to the home folder. So the short name needs to be the same. Uh, I'll just put in a um, you know an email an email email address. I'm just going to uh, put you know Sally at screencaster.com. I'm going to put something like this in here. Okay. And now I need to put in a password for Sally. So I'm just going to uh, make up a password for her here. Okay. And then uh, I've got her all set up. And so I'm adding her now to the server, and I'm just going to leave this alone because I'm going to use a terminal command for her home folder. Because what I don't want to do is set up another home folder for her uh, in another place. I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. And I'm just going to click Done. And now it's going to actually create uh, a record for Sally, and it's going to add her in. Now you notice that Sally's here, and it shows that she's a local network user. So that's what I want her to be. Now she's on the network. And so now there's one more thing I need to do is I need to link her home folder uh, to this new network account. So I need to change the ownership of that home folder so that it works. And to do that, I need to uh, pull up the uh, terminal here and put in a command to be able to link those things together. So let me just go to terminal, pull that up here. And what you're going to want to do is you just want to log in and you want to type in this command. You want to go sudo with a, uh, with a space, chown negative R there okay and then we're going to put in the username which would be and that's a short name so in our case that would be Sally D okay you're going to want to put that in and make sure that it is the short name it's not the long name or anything like that it needs to be the short name of the user with a colon and then the primary group uh, that your uh, that your person is in so let me just uh, pull up the server application again here real quick. Hang on one second. Let's pull that back up. And if you go to your groups, you'll see that work group is the primary group. So that's what I want to put in there and spell it just like it is right there. So what we're going to do, let's pop this back down. And so in terminal right here, we're just going to put work group. Just like that, because that's the primary group that the person is in. Then you put a space and you put a slash. And then it's users with another slash and then Sally D, her, the username, just like that. And so that's what you want to put in, and that's the command to actually set up the uh, services there. So we just hit return. It's going to ask for your password. Hit return, and everything now should be connected and ready to go. You can see that we got a, a bar back here, so everything should be good. So if I just pop this down, and let's go back in here to the server application, everything now should be up and ready to go uh, with Sally with her accounts connected together. And in the, uh, in the finder, uh, everything now is officially all set up and ready to go for Sally D. There's her information. You can see everything is set up now, and she should be uh, good to go. So that's how you do that. That's how you actually change a local uh, user to a network user. Uh, it's not too difficult of a process. It's just a little bit tedious if you're doing more than one of these. It's going to take you some time to kind of work through. Uh, there's some other workarounds where you can use Workgroup Manager uh, to do some of this to uh, speed it up. I might uh, maybe touch on that in another screencast. It's kind of beyond the one that we have for this week. But anyways, that hopefully will get you set up and going with uh, making this change. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back with you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.